Hello guys and welcome back to another diamond painting video. This is a really exciting video because this is the second diamond painting I've done from Diamond Art Club and I'm so stoked. I put up a poll on my community tab and this diamond painting won twice. I only chose diamond paintings I really liked but this one, I can't lie, was my favorite. Just like my last diamond painting from Diamond Art Club, I ordered off of Amazon because I wanted it to come quick. The kit comes with the canvas, a tool kit, and an insurance card, which coming from somebody who has already messed up a diamond painting, this is extremely helpful. And the diamond painting we chose was Stained Glass by Peggy Collins. So let's unbag it to see what it looks like in person. Inside we have the drills and some instructions and of course the canvas. So really quickly, let me just go over the specs of this canvas. The brand is of course Diamond Art Club. It's a 13 by 13 diamond painting. We are doing circle diamonds in 53 colors, three Aurora Borealis diamonds, and one fairy dust diamond. So we'll be trying a few new diamonds today. But before we do that, I wanna flatten this canvas out. If anyone has any tips to flatten your canvas out quickly, let me know. In the meantime, let's start kitting up. Before I started unbagging the drills, I wanted to go through and look at all the colors because I have never seen a fairy dust drill before. I did not find it right away, but what I did find was a hole. It also took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out where the hole was. Like, the diamonds are purple. There, it's the purple bag, the purple one. But hear me out, there's like eight purple diamonds. So it took a while. Okay, now that that's done, let's move on to the actual kitting up process. Here are my sticker labels. If you're new to diamond painting and you don't know, all these symbols correspond to colors on the canvas. As for tools, we have a cover reminder, washi tape, wax, a tray with a stopper, and a pen and gripper. And this is what I use to hold all of my drills. Unfortunately, I only have one of these, so I'm limited to one diamond painting at a time. And since this only holds about 36-ish trays, I'm gonna have to have some loose trays. But I mean, 53 colors. I hope I even have 53 trays. When I kit up, I try to keep all the stickers on one side so I can see them all easily from one direction. Now, here is where things get really messy. Because I had already gone through and labeled all the trays, not all the bags have the same amount of drills in them. Some have a ton and some have very little. So I did have to go back and swap some of the smaller trays for larger trays, if that makes any sense. Between that and the static, things got pretty chaotic. That took forever. All right, now that we're done, I hope I don't need any of these drills. Now that the hard part's over, let's go ahead and date this project with today's date. Now there's only one last thing I need to do before we start. The plastic coat it comes with on top is fine, but I think I prefer the wax paper. There. Now we can finally get started. Thank you. 
I started off with a really small section just by chance and I'm really glad I did because I didn't realize how many colors are in one single section. There's about eight different colors in this one section alone and it felt like it went by pretty fast because it's such a small section but when I start doing the larger ones it gets really overwhelming. I know it's not much, but I'm pretty stoked about this little section here. So let's keep going. Now here's where things get a little overwhelming. Even though there are so many colors in this section, I didn't really notice how long it took. And that is because I think I'm much more organized than I have been in the past. Even in my last Diamond Art Club video, I somehow messed up the sticker labels. So I had a few trays of diamonds without any labels on them. Don't ask me how I did that, but I did. It was a total mess. So this time, despite how it looks, I made sure to kit up as well as possible. I must say, because I kitted up so well, this was a much more enjoyable experience for me and I was able to really relax while doing this. I do think kitting up would have been a lot more enjoyable if I had all large trays and that's something I've been wanting to invest in, but it can get really expensive really fast, so I'll just have to do with what I have for now. And speaking of kidding up, I had a lot of issues when it came to static and you guys gave me so many great tips and I wanted to use them, but I was completely out of dryer sheets. I also got a lot of comments of people telling me to blow into the bag, so that's what I went with and it helped a lot, albeit a little bit messy and I definitely ingested a few drills. But it was a massive help, so thank you so much to everybody who commented that and I cannot wait to try dryer sheets. Now, I love these drills, but they are such a pain to put on. So I'm gonna do them last. I've gotten a few questions as to what an AB is, and this is it. It's basically just a really shiny drill. Now, I'm not an expert, so if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments, but uh, these are ABs. And with that, this first section is complete. And we're back for day two. I don't have a whole lot of time today, but I wanna see if I can at least finish one more section. I've been eyeing this canvas for quite some time, but I decided not to do it because it didn't have a cutesy little creature on it. Don't get me wrong, I'm very much so into cutesy art, but I also really enjoy more realistic art that I can hang on my walls in my living spaces. So the world is kind of my oyster in that way. So I'm really glad you guys chose this diamond painting. I definitely feel like I've found my people. I didn't realize it at the time, but I've never done more than 40-ish colors in a diamond painting before. I always had the idea of the more colors, the better it'll look, and I still agree with that, but it definitely can get overwhelming changing your colors so much. Thank you. 
don't hold me to it, but I think I'm gonna finish this in my next diamond painting video. I'm also really excited to finish my RKS diamond painting, you know, the first diamond painting, my first large diamond painting. So I'm really excited to get back to that one as well. I definitely have to invest in more trays. So this is where I come to an end. I will be completing this diamond painting on camera, and I also have a lot of other really exciting projects ahead, including diamond paintings. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those. So this is what we have after two days, and I'm really liking how it's coming along so far. But in the meantime, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! If you enjoyed this video, here's another one I know you enjoy as well.